Hi, it's Brendan here from Strength and Conditioning Education and the Accelerated Strength and Conditioning Mentorship Programme. And we've been getting questions in from people about different things related to becoming a, a better coach, to furthering your career, to improving your business. So rather than sort of answer one email and, and then have to do that again and again and again, I thought it'd be better to really just put together a bit of a series of, of frequently asked questions, FAQs, and we're going to title this series the Coach Development Series, funnily enough. So, the first question, one that's coming up quite a lot for us, is within our mentorship, we take you through everything you need to become a fantastic strength and conditioning coach and build a great business. And part of that is giving you a qualification in strength and conditioning, which is a level three qualification. And so, We've been getting this question about level three versus level three, I want to call it. Level three PT versus level three strength and conditioning. And I want to just to address essentially some of the, the key differences there that are important to, to understand and, and to, to, to apply. So I think first things first, they are chalk and cheese, genuinely chalk and cheese. The only thing in common with the two of them is the fact that they both say level three in the title. And... The reason they're chalk and cheese is because the strength and conditioning qualification that we offer is through First for Sport and it's a actual coaching badge. So you're going to be qualified as a level three coach, the same as you would be say if you were a tennis coach or a rugby coach or a cricket coach or a football coach. Level three is a pretty good level, it's a, it's a senior coaching credential and you can crack on and do your own thing with that, but intrinsically within that qualification it is about coaching and coaching is about taking people from A to B and from for, for about, about applying the principles of coaching and through strength and conditioning. The level three personal training is, is really not about that, it's, it's very specific personal training and will allow you to work with those clients at the end of it and be a personal trainer. Strength and conditioning we offer a very thorough process to take you right through that coaching credential as well as add the really in-depth understanding of just how to get results and how to be first and foremost a coach. So if you're looking to, to help people from A to B to really guide them to accelerate their development like we accelerate yours on the mentorship program then a coaching qualification really does stand you in good stead for that. Uh, first for sport are a great governing body they work with British tennis and British weightlifting and uh, rowing and rugby union and, and all the other major, major governing bodies. So you're looked after, it's credible on that standpoint, but also through our mentorship process, you get so much more than a coaching qualification. It's a real process that a coaching qualification is just a part of. So level three versus level three, they are chalk and cheese. If you want to work with clients to help them to drop a dress size or to, to uh, recover from any, any of those, like obesity or, or anything like that, fantastic, more power to you, that's great. If you want to work in strength and conditioning, you want to get on the Accelerated Development Mentorship Program. And I think that addresses that question and I'll speak to you again with another coach development question very soon.